Hey weirdos, it's Darren, and uh, I'm doing a video on this one just because I think it's a bit more intimate, uh, a bit more personal. I know we're all going through a really hard time right now with the coronavirus situation. Everybody's being sequestered in their homes, and that can bring about a little bit of depression to some people, being stuck inside. I mean, some people get cabin fever already, and then to have this take place. I can understand how it might be frustrating and uh, you might even want to lash out at family or friends just because of your mood. You may not even understand it. But I want to let you know that the, the little things can make a difference. And the reason that I say that is, uh, I, I'm not going to say who it is, but I've been talking with somebody via a Facebook messenger the last couple of days, just going back and forth. And they were having a pretty tough time, um, but I didn't know that. I contacted them just to see if I could send a t-shirt. Just just because I felt like I needed to. I don't know why. I just felt like that's what I was supposed to do. Well, they got back to me and we've conversed a little bit back and forth. He came back to me and said, it's been a pretty depressing year so far and you almost made me cry. <laughs> Something so simple, just reaching out, saying hello and sending a t-shirt. And I'm guessing the t-shirt really even wasn't, wasn't the thing. I think it was the conversation we had. You can make a difference in somebody's life by doing something small today. And in the process, it's gonna make you feel better too. So even if you are stuck at home and you're not leaving, if you make a phone call some to uh, something to, to today, be patient with the person on the other end of the line. They're dealing with this very same thing that you're dealing with and more so because they're fielding calls from probably hundreds of people that are just like you. My wife's phone uh, died yesterday and, uh, well, you know, you can't go without technology nowadays. It's just not possible. So I looked it up, found out that there was, um, we use T-Mobile, by the way, and I read online that T-Mobile had closed 80% of its stores uh, because of this whole uh, COVID-19 thing. But uh, they did leave 20% open, so I was able to call and find out which location was open in our area, just a half a mile away, by the way. And uh, I went in. I was all smiles. There was three of them behind the counter and uh, they were all smiles as well. And we actually laughed. We, uh, we joked around with each other and there was a customer that was in there before me. There was only the two of us because most people are just staying inside. Um, but the customer didn't look like they were in such a great mood, but I caught them smiling um, while we were talking. Even people who are not in the conversation with you can still be uplifted by your attitude. So if you have a neighbor, maybe just give them a call, see how they're doing. If you're feeling well and you have to go to the uh, grocery store anyway, well, first, don't go unless you absolutely have to for obvious reasons. But if you do have to, call a neighbor, ask if they need anything while you're out. Even if they say, no, they don't, they're going to think the world of you because you asked. Whenever you talk with somebody on the phone, or if you go through a drive through to pick up dinner, because a lot of those are still open, smile at that person. Joke around with them just a little bit. Not enough to keep the line from coming forward, of course, but just enough to let them know that you understand, and we're all in this together, and not to worry about it. You're in no rush. Those words, by the way, I'm in no rush, that makes a big difference wherever you go. I can't tell you how many times uh, I've gone to a restaurant or gone through a drive through or waited in line somewhere to buy or sell or to buy whatever. And uh, some, they'll actually look at me and say, sorry, we're taking so long. All I have to do is say, nah, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm in no rush. It takes the pressure off of them and they're going to smile. Almost guaranteed. They'll probably thank you too. So just check your own heart today. All right. I know it's, it's kind of gloomy to be inside. Even if you're in sunny weather, it's still gloomy because you have to stay at, stay inside. You can't get, take advantage of the sun. Here in Northern Illinois, not only are we uh, sequestering ourselves, but we've also got cloudy weather and rain. So we definitely have the depressing mood here, but it's not going to keep me from smiling. You know, I might have depression. I might have psoriasis on my cheeks, both sets. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know, I've got, uh, you know, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, acid reflux, hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome. Got a toenail that looks like a Frito. 
Oh, well. I kind of got off on a tangent there. Anyway, just be good to each other, all right? Got another episode coming your way later on today. God bless. Stay safe. Stay inside if you can. And for goodness sakes, wash your hands and turn off the cable news. <laughs>